Sarah and Agire from Uganda, Uganda in East Africa. That's the pearl of Africa. I am a singer and I've been singing for some time now. <laughs> I do sing in quite a number of uh, Uganda languages. First of all, I'm very easy with languages. I can even sing in a language that I don't understand. I have sung, you know, songs in Lingala, that's from uh, Congo, but I don't understand even what I sing about. And even in Uganda, I've sung songs in Karamajong, and I just actually get a translation, but I don't know exactly what it means word by word. What are the challenges are you facing, you as a Ugandan musician? Mm. The challenges are several. To start with, um, in my country, in Uganda, for example, we have so many what we call flukas. <laughs> flukas. <laughs> people are fluking the music industry. These are people who have no knowledge of music, they just go to the studio and are lucky to have a few, you know, lines, and then the producer puts them in key and then the radio plays the song and then they become big. They will say, mm. that's, that is tough competition. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> um, I can say, yeah, it is competition, but, uh, but it's, it's, not a fair, it's not a fair ground in Uganda. If it is competition, give us the same ground and let us compete and see who wins. But when you go, for example, to the radio stations and you take this kind of music that we play, music that has a, a guitar in, really, you know, you have a guitarist, you get a guitarist to studio, you get a bassist to studio, you get a real drummer to studio. If you take that music, they say, ah, but you guys are playing jazz. This is complicated music, you know? That means you're already not giving us a fair ground. The people will not like this music, but how do you know people will not like it? You know, if you don't give it to them and then they refuse. No, there's no, that is not there. Recently, we got a music school, the first music school, Kampala Music School, and that is mostly um, for classical and, you know, reading music and playing violins and stuff like that. But for music technology, no. Not at all. Sound engineering, not at all. You know, even if it comes to things like DJing, not at all. Nothing to do with music is there, apart from, you know, the university where they have music, dance, and drama, you know, and the kind of music at the university is music that you're going to read, you know, classical, that kind of, of music. We don't even have, like, a jazz school, you know, all these things we learn from, <laughs> from some, somehow we just learn. But still, Ugandan musicians, they still produce music. Yes, now. they do, they do, they do. And, and by the way, they have really, really improved a lot.